Today on the Bueller Bunch, we go mushroom hunting. We're gonna get shroomed. 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 So today is gonna be the weird little adventure for us. Um, we're gonna go mushroom hunting. So if you've never been mushroom hunting, uh, we've never been, um, this will be very unique. Um, we've got a guide. He actually has his own business and website and he is our mushroom hunter extraordinaire. And uh, you'll see a little bit of uh, Ken. His name is Ken Bugleisen and he runs a website and we'll put a link down below. Um, and it's called Walk in the Woods. And uh, he does mushroom forays. Never heard of that until recently. And uh, um, it's something that is extremely exciting and apparently a lot of people um, do this now. And uh, so we're gonna learn a lot and we're gonna walk a lot and hopefully we're gonna find a lot. So again, we've stopped where? Right. Yeah, that's our. That, this is just where we go to every time on our way up to Mendocino. Mm -hmm. So we grab a cup of coffee. Yum, yummy. Yum. Yeah, it's always yummy. So one of the places we like to stop at is this this little apple place. Uh, they just got really great juices and uh, lots of apples, and it's all freshly made, so you can't go wrong with it. And everybody seems to like it. Mm. Apple slushy. <laughs> Did you not hear? Mm. Mm. A little bit, but yum. Deliberately. Oh my God! I was just informed that. We may have to go to the bathroom in the woods. No, 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 no. I guess it's mushroom hunting. Yuck. officially reached our destination. So this is apparently like mushroom heaven out here. Um, literally, as I'm driving up the road, you can see mushrooms on the side of the road. So now it's a matter of fact is try to learn what those types of mushrooms are. So uh, here we go for the first Bueller Bunch mushroom foray. I'm psyched. Well, let's see. We're mushroom hunting, and uh, you know my uh, my my guide. He's uh, he's he's way up there because uh, this is like mushroom heaven for him. Um, we are finding a little bit of everything around here. I mean, it's just amazing of some of the mushrooms. And I'll tell you, if I didn't have a guide, I'd be going, "Oh, that looks good. Let's eat that." And uh, you don't want to do that. You want to definitely know what the heck you're doing when you're doing this. This isn't going to the grocery store. This is stuff that's growing in the wild, and you never can tell what you're up against as far as stuff. But what I've learned is a lot of stuff is edible. It may not be great tasting, but it, a lot of stuff is edible, and it's not poisonous. 
but I'm not gonna take that chance. I don't know about you, but I am not gonna take that chance. This is, uh, this is, this is Ken Bugleisen. He has his own uh, uh, website and business. It's called Walk in the Woods, and he literally takes pokes on mushroom forays, which is pretty much uh, the French word. You're French, uh, what is foray? Is this foray a French word? No? I don't think it is. Okay, well, my, well, he would know because I mean, come on, he was he, the kid. The guy grew up in France. You hit me with a question like that. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll I thought to look into it, but it's a common word in the mushrooming world for just going out and walking around in the woods. Okay, well, that's what we're doing, and we're coming across these amazing mushrooms. And I mean, I'll look, you know, what have we here? This is a cluster of something, and it looks edible. I don't know. Uh, so, these are what we call. Uh, scaly chanterelles or woolly chanterelles. They are a type of chanterelle, um, you know, so here, uh, chanterelles don't have gills, right? They have these uh, veins or um, ridges. And um, in Mexico, they eat these. Here in the US, we generally don't eat these. So whether it's edible or not, is kind of depends on where you're from and how you cook it. I think the real issue is they develop these um, fairly deep little holes. <laughs> My hands are covered with goo. Um, I think there's a lot of bacteria that can grow in there. So I think people who eat these, you know, like if, if you don't clean that out very good or clean it up, then it's probably not good for you. But, um, you know, technically it is a chanterelle or in the chanterelle family anyway. And um, some people eat them, most people don't. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> I, I would have gone, oh, chanterelles, yeah, that's, and that's supposed to, you're, you're supposed to eat this. But uh, like yeah. I said, that's why I go out with, uh, with Ken like this, because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, there's like mushrooms like everywhere. There's like one there and there's one there. And it's, it's yeah, no, it's, <laughs> uh, no, I, I get why this is so uh, <laughs> inviting yeah, is because you can literally find a mushroom like every five feet, if not. Yes, yes. You can spend all day in like a 20 foot area surveying all the mushrooms. That's, a, that, that's, that's, that's amazing that you can see this many mushrooms all over the place. It's just all over the place. I mean, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's like, it's, well, here's my hand. And, ooh, it's gooey. It's gooey, yeah. Uh, gooey. You gotta go underneath them, right? Yeah, is it still fairly firm? Uh, oh, Jesus. This thing is enormous. Oh, it's got gills too, okay. So it's not as swillous. Holy smokes, look at that. That thing's got, that's got to be like that's probably a, uh, eight inches around. I think it's a gumphidious. I hope I'm not touching it and it's like gonna poison me. Oh, there are no mushrooms that will poison you from touching them. Oh, well that's nice to know. So yeah. you can go up and squish yeah, them and- you can squish them. Even the most poisonous mushrooms you can touch. You can even um, taste as long as you spit them out. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not going to taste a raw, gigantic mushroom. Oh, oh, jeez! It's like a football. Uh, so, this is. Uh, you know what? This is probably one of the quaternary species because I'm seeing all this like webby stuff in here. Um, but I'm not actually sure what the heck this is. It's just big. Uh, but it has gills, right? It doesn't have pores underneath. And so if you're going to record this mushroom with your iNaturalist app or something like that, uh, you're going to want to take a picture here, like of the underneath of the mushroom, right? And, and get, you know, get right in there. And then, uh, you, you know, you take a picture of the top here so you can see the color. And then usually if it's still in the ground, you're going to want to take a picture of it, you know, in the ground, um, where you found it sort of to get a habitat shot. And uh, I also find too, it can be helpful to get down low and take a picture of it like that. So you get more of the background in your photo. And then uh, it's kind of gooey. So, you know, <laughs> you're gonna be <laughs> doing some laundry when you get home, but they're, they're not gonna be harmful or anything to touch. Don't worry about the goo. Don't worry about getting poisoned or anything like that. Uh, none of the mushrooms in North America can harm you from picking them up or touching them. Yeah, when I first started learning about these and what Ken does, it was, uh, he was showing me, he's like, oh, there's a mushroom. I'm like, oh, great, that's just one. And then I was thinking that mushroom hunting is very hard. 
<laughs> it's not as hard when it's in season. It's like a, it's like throwing a grocery store and letting it explode everywhere, and uh, you get to go pick which ones you want. One thing I've been learning is that um, apparently redwood trees, they're not the best for a mushroom environment. But again, the pine trees, the huckleberry bushes, those are really good environments for mushroom hunting. So if you see redwood trees or redwood areas where there's a lot of redwood, you're probably not going to find the right kind of mushrooms if you find mushrooms at all. Well, yeah, one, one thing I just learned is you better have an app on your phone to figure out where the heck you parked because um, I have no idea at this point. And uh, like I said, go out with experienced people and you learn experience. So I found a whole bunch of chanterelles. So look at what we are going to get. Look at them. That's what you look for. Yes. These bright orange suckers sticking out of the ground. And you can barely see them, but there's a whole bunch of them. And man, are they going to be good to eat. They're hiding underneath the duff here. There's some, some big ones. Some of these look a little on the mature side, but not bad. Uh, so, yeah, they look good underneath. Cut the bottom off. Wash them off with your little brush. Did you leave your mushroom brush back in the car, man? I, I have no idea about a mushroom brush. <laughs> I gave you one. <laughs> it's probably still in the car, huh? Oh, I, I didn't know it was mine. I thought it was just something that you had in the car. I didn't know there was a specific <laughs> mushroom brush. <laughs> you learn a little bit of everything. Apparently, I have to have a mushroom brush. A mushroom uh, knife. With so a brush. it's a knife with a brush on and the end. And apparently, that's what you got to do. That's... The difference between I'm an amateur and you're a professional. I'm ready to go here. So. Wow, that's a lot of them, huh? There's a fair number. Could make dinner out of this. So there's, there's a few hiding in here. So you can see a little orange popping up. These are called pig ears. Why, I don't know. I guess they look like a pig ear to somebody. But um, yeah, these are edible. And uh, I don't know. Not Never bad. had a pig ear. So this is location number two. And apparently for the chanterelles, you want pine trees. What did you find? Found a chanterelle. I'm going to find another one. Ready? Put this one in the bag. Okay, one in the bag. Right. Whoa, look at them. You can see them. They're bright orange and they just hide right just under the leaves, huh? Look at that. Wow. Big. Mmm, big. Mmm, <laughs> big. I just don't want to cut myself. Wow, that's big. Yeah. Oh, you got your, oh, you have the official mushroom knife. Yes. I don't have an official mushroom knife. You do not. No, I don't have I think an I know official. Christmas. Christmas presents. <laughs> Christmas presents? Christmas they get presents. an official mushroom knife? Yes. You're a mushroom man oh, now. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is very neat. It's so pretty. There's more. Look. Yeah. You definitely can get spent doing this kind of stuff because you're walking over all the dead trees and all the foliage and it's just fun. So hopefully I taught you something and we'll see you next time on the Bueller Bunch. Who knows what we're going to get into next. Maybe Kristen, she needs to do some of these videos. <laughs> I think I'll give her the camera next. But thanks for joining us. Click, comment, and subscribe. I don't normally say that a lot, but uh, you know our channel grows every once in a while, so uh, hopefully it can grow to where we get some type of a community going. But here's Todd from the Bueller Bunch saying goodbye. See you later, have fun, enjoy life. That's what we try to do. Take care.